Basically, a comedic actress, Sandra Bullock freed herself from getting typecast in female-driven comedies when she appeared in The Blind Side. The amalgamation of a string of comedic films since the 90s gave Sandra the impression that she was not made to be an Oscar winner. But much to her own dismay, she won the Oscar for The Blind Side. Although this film's content has problematic aspects, Sandra's performance was appreciated by many. After graduating from East Carolina University with a BFA in drama in 1982, Bullock moved to New York City to conquer the acting world. While working odd jobs in Manhattan, Sandra took acting classes with Sanford Meisner and consequently secured minor roles in TV and in student films. After appearing in a string of movies and even starring opposite Shirley MacLaine in Randa Haynes' wrestling Ernest Hemingway, Bullock had her Hollywood breakthrough after appearing in Speed opposite Keanu Reeves in 1994. This movie helped Bullock establish her identification of a leading lady in rom-coms. She appeared in While You Were Sleeping, Two If By The Sea, Practical Magic opposite Oscar winner Nicole Kidman, Forces of Nature and Gunshy. Coming into the 2000s, Bullock brought her most favoured roles that to this day are her most notable, Miss Congeniality and The Proposal. But that was more about Sandra than meets the eye, than just a beautiful, stylish and effortlessly funny woman. Like her fluent German, since her mother is German and her growing up in Germany until age 12, or that she is a well-versed film producer who has been producing many of her films since the 90s, or that her acting range goes much further than rom-coms. Thus, in 2009, Sandra, after much deliberation, in fact three times turning down this role, she took on the role of playing real-life woman Leanne Tui in The Blind Side. Sandra, unsure of whether she had the ability to leverage this role since she was so different than Leanne, ultimately made the right decision. The Blind Side was directed by John Lee Hancock and co-starred Quentin Aaron, who played the real-life man Michael Orr, aka Big Mike. Although the film focused on the journey of Michael Orr through the eyes of Leanne, the two actors truly carried the film hand in hand. The story follows Leanne, a feisty interior designer, mother of two and wife of a wealthy businessman who meets Michael, a lost, poor and foster cared boy. The two accidentally befriend one another and start a journey to help Michael live a better life than that of his trash picking, couch surfing past in Tennessee. She helps him find his purpose, which ultimately leads him to play professional football in the NFL. An unexpected match for sure, but this story proves exactly the fact that two people from complete polar walks of life can help one another and bring meaning to each other's existence. Bullock became an ultimate blonde bombshell, God-fearing, stiletto-stomping power woman, very different to what she was used to depict in her previous comedies. Sandra truly evokes the meaning of this film, that we should not take privilege for granted. The film has been criticized for the white savior narrative and Uncle Tom and racial stereotypes involved in the story. The Blind Side, with a $29 million budget, made a whopping $309.2 million in the box office. Bullock's performance was said to be, and I quote, convincing enough as an energetic, multitasking woman of the New South, who knows her own mind and usually gets her way, end quote, by the New York Times. Turns out, Sandra's doubts about taking on this role were uncalled for, for she was a natural in this film, and for her performance in The Blind Side, she received her first Oscar nomination and ultimately won it for Best Actress at the 2010 ceremony. After two decades of working in the film industry, Sandra hit her winning streak. Sandra wore a shimmering champagne-hued Marquesa gown, a classic smooth silhouette, paired with an asymmetric lace beaded embroidery on the top half and sequined bottom, evoked an element of old Hollywood glamour, especially with the side-slicked hair and red lip. Bullock managed to get nominated one more time in 2014 for Best Actress for her role as Dr. Ryan Stone in the survival space movie called Gravity. This two-hander with George Clooney, directed by Alfonso Cuaron, continued to show the versatility and leading lady energy that Bullock possesses on screen. Bullock has starred in further well-received works like in Our Brandis Crisis, Ocean's 8 and Bird Box, all remarkable female-driven films.
Sandra's career has been ever evolving for the better. She proves that real talent and intelligent career moves don't get you typecast, they get you further than that. Her down-to-earth and warm attitude, as well as her impeccable style, makes her a classic that will always be admired. Well, don't aspire to be in, in these shoes. You know, walk on your own. I mean, it, we're, everyone's really good at telling everyone else how to live their life or how to be or how to do it. it just, you know, just don't listen. My mother beat it into our heads to be original, and I, I didn't understand that until later on. And just everyone's unique, and that's what makes people exciting to watch, I think. So just savor what you are and not what everyone else wants you to be. I want to do everything. I, I, I've always been one of those people that I don't like when people tell me I can't do something. Just because, um, you know, we, I did commercial films doesn't mean I couldn't do wonderful small art house films. Just because I won an Oscar, I don't, I don't want to ever stop doing something that makes people laugh. I love making people laugh. Um, Thank you.